check out what I found at the dollar store that's going to completely upgrade my builder grade blinds. To get the burlap ready to use, I want to finish the edges. And I'm going to use my low temp glue gun and then fold the burlap over. I want to make a pocket for the curtain rod to go through. I'm going to fold over the top edge about two or two and a half inches. I'm going to do this to the entire length of the burlap until I get to the other end. I'm going to remove the end of the rod and then just slip the rod right through that gap that I created at the top of the burlap. I'm going to measure out two pieces of twine, grunge them up and tie the twine. How pretty are these faux burlap blinds? We're going to start with a roll of window film. I'm going to cut a sheet of film just a little bit larger than the size of my glass. Now using a pencil, I'm just going to sketch a design and I'm just going to slowly cut out each piece. So spray your window with water and then grab that first cut out piece and then gently place it onto the window using that squeegee each time and just pressing down really well. Just cut off these edges here. You want to make sure to dry any excess water. I now have some privacy in this bathroom. So we're going to start with this cellophane piece here. So I'm going to make the line here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Just put a clear dot or you could run a clear line. And next I'm going to go ahead and place the cellophane onto the glue and glass. So I'll go ahead and continue putting the glue and the cellophane up on all the windows. Here it is all finished and I could be more thrilled with how it turned out. I picked these flower pots up at the dollar store and I just want to put a couple of drain holes when I put the plants in will drain out. I'm going to use some of this beautiful blue paint here just to paint up these tins. Now that the paint is dry and I'm just going to lightly sand this to bring out that pattern. So I'm going to use a water-based top coat here. I want to make sure I cover all the surfaces. So I want to place this about where I want it on the window frame and then I'm just going to use the same marker to just draw a little black dot so I can drill my pipe holes. So I've just got some dirt here adding some beautiful summer flowers to my pot. I absolutely love how beautiful this old window looks with some window boxes filled with flowers. I picked up this one step tie dye kit from my local Walmart so I'm rigged up this setup here with just two ladders and a piece of wood and then I laid my polyester curtain over top. Then I began to place some ice blocks on top of the wood and the curtain. Then I began to dump out my powdered dye over top of the ice, making sure that all the ice was covered. Now the easy part is just to sit back and let the sun melt the ice and see what kind of colored patterns come out. Once the ice is completely melted, you just take your curtain off your piece of wood and then just place it in the dryer. And I think they turned out really well. So what we're going to start with here tonight is a piece of foam board. So I am going to measure out eight inches and then I am going to cut out a strip. You can just kind of bend this, cut another strip of foam board the same length. And I'm going to cut four of these three inch pieces. So we're going to put a little hot glue on the edge and attach it to the side here. So put a little hot glue on there and push it in there to hold it square. So again, a little bit of hot glue on the edges. So this is gonna help us just hold that batting in place while we get everything else on. Spray it on the edges a little bit here and bring it up. So I chose a pretty neutral gray fabric. So we're just gonna put a little hot glue along the edges, attaching the fabric to the foam board. These are actually um, picture hanging strips and we're just gonna put it in place. And that's all there is to it.